welcome back here to Luray Lanes. We just had an exciting match between Jordan Hicks and Jeremiah Thomas. That was exciting. We got to see some very talented young bowlers. <laughs> this was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Um, this game with uh, Jeremiah Thomas will be bowling against Dimitri Coer. And you see the Dimitri's even younger than Jeremiah, so this is, is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, he's, this will be interesting. He's feeling a lot of pressure right now, and, and our mm -hmm. tournament director's talking, trying to calm him down a little bit, get Good. him settled in. Right. So this is just a fun thing for the kids. It's been a great time. Mm -hmm. We've had a great time with this. Kids are shaking hands now. We're ready to go with the next match. All right. Jeremiah will start this match off on the left lane again. Okay. Wow. Oh, he pulled that one really bad. That was a heavy drop. Yeah. He needs to take his time here and and regroup. His thumb is really sore too. A lot of bowlers, when they bowl a lot of games, they're not used to bowling a lot of games, right. will get sores on their thumb. Uh, and what that is from is pressure on the ball where it's not supposed to be. Gotcha. So he actually flips his thumb out the back of the thumb hole uh -huh. and it's dragging very badly and that's what's causing his, son, his yeah, thumb, definitely affects thumb to get so sore. Yeah. Right. Okay, here goes Dimitri Coer. The little bowler, fine young bowler, throws it right up by the gutter and it's going to hook right in. Wow. Ah. Just like that. Ouch. Ah. The neat thing about this match is their averages are very, very close. Really? Jeremiah gets 120 pins handicap for two games, so that's 60 a game. Right. And Dimitri gets 102, which is 51 a game, so there's only nine pins difference. Okay. So they're bowling pretty much heads up here, so this ought to be really fun. Dimitri changed balls there. There you go. Very nice shot. Dimitri's uh, mother and father bowl out at King Lane since Dimitri's out there a lot practicing. Okay. And I think what you'll see is Dimitri's game's a little more refined. Mm -hmm. He's a little more knowledgeable about the game of bowling. Right. And you'll see him, he, he'll act more like a adult bowler, a pro bowler would, because he knows he's done this for... And he's watched his parents. Yes. He's very, very competitive too, which really? is a good thing. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is a 6-7 spare here, very easy spare, easy to chop, but he'll move left and throw the ball into the corner, mm -hmm. just like he's picking up a 10 pin. Oh, it's got a slide. Very good shot. Nice shot. <laughs> Jeremiah is pulling down the second frame. <coughs> He's moved a little more right this match. Get off there. Ouch. Wow. Oh, got a break there. Okay. The same thing Dimitri just picked up. Yeah. Moved left here, throw the ball into the corner, and hit the ball with both pins and pick it up. See, that's the part of being a new bowler. Mm -hmm. He's just got to learn. This match is a little different here in that Jeremiah had handicap last game where he could use that handicap like a buffer zone. Right. This game he can't. He's got to bowl. He's got to beat Qu uh, Dimitri. Uh, he pulled it again. Oh, nice. got a break. Very nice. He's happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling. He's he knows the key got a good got a good break there. Yeah. Okay, Dimitri now. This is a big shot for him. He needs to step right up and throw a good shot. Oh Lordy, hang on. Wow. Okay. He got lucky there. <laughs> Yeah, it's the one problem in Dimitri's game. When, when young bowlers like himself use heavy balls that might be a little heavy for them, right. they have a tendency to step off to the right because of the weight of the ball will pull them to the right. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens to Dimitri is when his timing's a little bit off, he's not as strong yeah. as an adult bowler to hang on to it and pull it back in. The weight of the ball actually pulls him over to the right. Get up there. Oh, unfortunate break there. <coughs> 
The good thing about Dimitri's game, if you watch the way he lifts with the ball and his hand rotation, it's like Jordan Hicks where he rotates his hand counterclockwise like you're supposed to. His thumb is up and he lifts with his fingers. The only problem that he has is the weight of the ball makes him step off to the right. Right. Watch when he follows through. He'll step over to the right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As long as you do the same thing behind the approach every time, mm -hmm. you can adjust for the lanes. But when you don't do the same thing behind the approach, behind the foul line on the approach, it's hard to adjust for anything. So, Dimitri is very consistent. Understands the game of bowling and knows what he has to do. He just has to do it. Yeah, he has a lot of power. Oh, good shot. Good shot by Dimitri. <laughs> Jeremiah now is working on a strike. I've seen Jeremiah throw four or five strikes in a row. It's just a matter of him getting comfortable, moving far enough right, getting close to the gutter. Right. But I don't think he will because a lot of kids are intimidated by the gutter. Yeah, if you notice, all his balls are going left. Yes. Because he has moved close to the gutter and he's really self-conscious about it. So he's really trying to keep it away from it. Sometimes in sports and bowling, you have to take a chance. You know, the gutter's not really as close as he thinks it is, but he's bowling on television in front of all these people, and he doesn't want that ball to go in there. Right, it's a lot of pressure. Oh, he moved to the middle again. He has one pin. This is the time when you're a coach or you're a parent, you want to tell him, hey, stay to the right, yeah. move, do this. And he would pick all those up, I guarantee it, because he's very athletic. Mm -hmm. he, he, he knows what he wants to do. It's just he's moving into the wrong place of the lanes, but it's just he's a one-year bowler. It's his first year. Yeah. So he's doing, he's doing very well. He's bowling now in the fifth frame with 44 in the fourth. <coughs> that was a much better delivery there. Much better delivery. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And again, the more he bowls, the more he's going to develop the timing, what oh, yeah. it feels like to throw a good shot. He's another one of the young men that you see that has potential in this game. Mm -hmm. So you really want to work with those kids. Keep them bowling. Oh, Dimitri added a hop to that one. <coughs> Dimitri's style of stepping over to the right Ted Anderson, a bowler that was a adult bowler when I came into the men's league did the exact same thing Really? and it was really, it's really neat watching him bowl but Ted did it, that was part of his game mm -hmm. and it was really pretty to watch It was really he did the same thing every time and I, I'll never forget him as long as I bowl it was just fun watching him yeah. Dimitri does the same thing but as he gets older, gets stronger oh, tough break yeah. he'll learn to balance on one foot, hold the pose and, and use balance as his, as his strength mm -hmm. Dimitri is in the fourth grade. He's 10 years old. His mom is Natalie and his dad is Brian. I used to babysit for his mother. Really? Yes, giving my age away. <laughs> He's from Ashland and he bowls at King Lanes. Wow. That was a better follow through there. Yeah. Yeah, nice. there you right. go, Dimitri. Good for him. You'll notice also. You know, Jeremiah is using a, a second-hand ball. He's using a, a pair of alley shoes. Dimitri has two new bowling balls. He's got his own bowling shoes. I mean, wow. he's, he's been into it more and longer. Yeah. Jeremy, Jeremiah will get into all this stuff. That's a good shot. Oh, that's a good shot. Now, it's important here that he picks this up. The match is kind of close right now, mm -hmm. very close right now, and he's got to let Dimitri know that, hey, I'm going to get these spares. You're going to have to out-bowl me to beat me. Yeah. We both get the same handicap, so neither one of us can use our handicaps here as a buffer, so we have to we have to flat out beat each other. I think he got it there. Good shot. Nice. Good very, very nice shot. Again, you know, I hope the the parents and the fans all appreciate the pressure that these kids are under. It's just yeah. they've never felt anything like this before in their lives. You know, going out and bowling and practicing or bowling in league is fun with your friends just goofing around, right, having but a it's good time. Different under pressure. It's just them and the cameras and the fans. Trying to focus. Yes. Mm -hmm. That looked like a pretty good shot. Get out of there. Okay, this is a very, very tough split. But the way you pick splits up like this is you, you do it by deduction. You take out the seven pin. It's not there. You have the four, or the six and the ten. And the way you pick this up is hit the ten pin and slide the six over into the seven. Mm -hmm. So you block out those two pins and just hit the ten pin and see what happens. That's what happens a lot. Kids or average bowlers, they'll see that big split and they'll think they got to throw it harder or they got to you just pick up the 10 pin. Yeah. Hold on. Good shot. Nice. 
That was a good shot by Dimitri. You know, he figures he's only 10 years old, so he's probably using a 12-pound, 13-pound ball. I'm not sure how heavy his ball is. Could even be 14. I don't know. My son throws a 15. And <laughs> they amaze me. Okay, yeah. see how he throws it nice and slow? He's going to let it hook through the oil. Perfect. Nice. He shows no nerves whatsoever. <coughs> Inside, he, his stomach is twirling right now, <laughs> and, and that's the neat thing about bowling is, is you're thinking things are going by you so fast, you mm -hmm. have to learn to slow everything down, slow it down, put it in perspective, and make good shots. Right. And it starts right here behind the foul line. He sets himself, hand under the ball, go up, make a good shot. Got a little wide. It's going to go heavy. Okay, knocked it out. This is what Jordan Hicks kept believing in the first match. Mm -hmm. It's going to be even harder for... Uh, Dimitri to pick this up right. because he throws his ball so slow and it's so it's going to jump. If it hits the dry part of the lane it's going to hook and if it hits the oil it's going to slide by. <coughs> Very nice He's shot. These guys are making tough spares look easy. <laughs> yeah. You know and they're getting 120 pins handicap so you know that means his average is 120. Wow. So for them to be making these quality shots is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah's got 88 in the seventh frame, so he's trailing here a little bit. Needs to pick it up a little bit. Looked pretty good. Very nice. good. Right. <laughs> he's happy. Got the little fist pump going there. <laughs> yep. Jeremiah had a little uh, excitement before we started today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he stayed overnight at a friend's house, uh -oh. and his mother forgot to bring his bowling ball. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> But they ran all the way to Hayesville and got back here in time for the Good. bowling, so. Let's shake him up. Oh, there oh, we go. Nice. There we go. See, so he must have knew I was telling that story, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't want his mom to feel bad. Yeah. I know his mother and father very well, and they're very good people, and okay. it'll take him a while to live this down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dimitri got that inside a little bit, threw it hard. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay, what happened there is this ball was in the oil and it faded back. But Dimitri has a ball. There's different balls out on the market. There's balls that hook and balls that don't hook. And he right. has an aggressive ball that he throws it slow enough that even in the oil, the ball hooks enough mm -hmm. that it gets back to the pocket. Now I'll slow this down and he'll let it hook across. It's got to go. Nice. Very nice shot. <laughs> For people that bowl in leagues, when you go out and practice sometime, try throwing the ball really slow and mm -hmm. see how hard that is. You know, where most men throw it hard to pick up their spirits right. when the ball doesn't move. These little kids can't throw it that hard, so they have to depend on their accuracy and letting the weight of the ball and the roll of the ball Let pick the pins up. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, you got that one a little wide, coming heavy. Here's that baby split again. Like we were talking about before, the oily pattern on the lanes, the oil is very heavy in the middle, mm -hmm. and then it thins out as you go towards the gutter. The problem with Demetrius is as slow as he throws the ball, if he gets it out to the gutter too early like he did, the ball's going to hit the dry part early, too early in the lane and go heavy. Oh, he got that in. That's going to hook. <coughs> That's okay. Dimitri bowled a very, very good game. He had a 144. With his handicap, gives him 195. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jeremiah threw that big double in the 8th and ninth, so you know he makes a good shot here. He's yeah. going to win that first game. Taking time. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, good very good He's shot. Nice. Very good shot by Jeremiah there. He just took control of the match right there with that strike. That's how quickly it can change. Yeah. Whether you're your 120 average bowlers or your 220 average bowlers, when you're bowling heads up against somebody, you have to make every ball count. Oh, he turns sideways. It might go Brooklyn. Okay, if you notice there, he turned sideways at the foul line. Mm -hmm. That meant that his timing was off and the ball wasn't where it was supposed to be in his swing. Okay. Bowling is all about timing. Taking your time and making your approach and having like a rhythm, a fluid rhythm to uh -huh. the line. That time, and the weight of these balls these kids are throwing now, if their timing isn't perfect, it, it throws them all off balance. Got that right. It's going to go in the gutter. Uh, <coughs> that's all right, though. Jeremiah Thomas, the first game, had a 164 with his handicap. Gives him 224. Quentin, or Quentin, that's Qu uh, Jeremiah, or Dimitri's brother. Mm -hmm. 
Dimitri had a 144 with his handicap at 195. So he's got some work to do. He's down third, 29 pins. It's not impossible, but he's going to have to bowl a good game, and he's capable of bowling. Yeah. We'll go right into the second game here. Dimitri's going to get us started. Should also say that Dimitri's highest game is a 191. Okay. He's going to need that now to get back in this match. And his high series is 490. Okay, that's a good shot. Good start. Just got to stay clean. His favorite bowler is Brad Angelo. That is a professional bowler. Very good bowler. Mm -hmm. I've met him a couple times. He's a very nice guy. Very good role model. Good. His favorite local bowler is Quentin Coer, who happens to be his brother. Aww. He's trying to do something that Quentin didn't do. Quentin bowled in this tournament a few years, and mm -hmm. it's hard because of the handicap. So they have a whole family of bowlers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have that a lot in Nashville. There's a lot of families that mm -hmm. they all bowl, which is a good thing. Right. Jeremiah's now bowling first frame, second match. He threw that ball very well. Very well. I think when we're done here, I'll talk to Jeremiah, you know, and, and, and maybe help him a little bit. Tell him he needs to get a little more aggressive ball, mm -hmm. learn to stay down through the shot a little bit and rotate it. He, he's got a pretty good hand rotation right now. Yeah. But being a, you know, second year bowling, first year, first, second, he's been bowling one full year, so he's, he's got a long ways to go. Yeah. But he understands the game, and he's very athletic. Right. Very good shot. I'd like to see him smile a little more, too. <laughs> yeah, he's show more a, expression. <laughs> he's got a good-looking smile. Okay, these young men are tied after the first frame here. Very, very good shot. Good shot. Dimitri's favorite bowling moment is when he was practicing and had a 211 game. He was practicing. Practicing, yes. Which 211, you know, is is doesn't sound like a lot, but to a 10 year old, that's oh yeah, that's very very good. He's gonna have a lot higher games than that in his career, I guarantee it. Okay, he's kind of lost his rhythm here a little bit. He pulled that one inside. That's a big split, but he gets two of these and and move on. Moved right, very good. Now slow it down, let the ball just hook across. And get those two. See, mentally, mentally, Dimitri understands the game of bowling. Mm -hmm. And that's a big advantage to him over Jeremiah because right. he knows where to move on the lane. It's just a, his body will only allow him to do so much mm -hmm. with the weight of the ball and being so small. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's hard for him. He's competitive and, and he's hand rotation is good there. Coming up, very good shot. Good shot. He's gonna be a great bowler when he grows up as yes, he gets he older. Is. He's got a big brother that's a very good bowler in the a his first year in the A League and bowling very well. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's turned out a lot of good bowlers. Jeremiah, big shot for him here. If he can throw a double, this will put him in control. It's gonna go a little heavy. Yeah. Okay, this is a very tough spare, especially for a bowler like Jeremiah. What he'll probably do here is move to the middle, and he's got to hit the three pin almost head on to get the pin in the back. Right. That's called a sleeper. Okay. <clears throat> if he doesn't hit directly on it, he won't get the pin in the back. But the problem is, if he hits too direct, he'll miss the six pin. Mm -hmm. So this is a very hard spare. Okay, move to the middle. Oh, he threw it way right. He's going to get two up. He's having a little tr thumb trouble. Yeah. They have a, a item for bowlers when their thumb breaks open the way his has. It's called New Skin. Oh, okay. And I don't know if you've ever used that. Nope. Oh, it's very painful. <laughs> oh. It burns. It, you put Good. it over top of it and it puts like a, la a protective layer on top of it. Uh huh. But it burns a lot. Mm. He just learned to deal with it though, so. Okay. I watched him put it on before he bowled today. Took it very well. Yeah. Wow. Nice Good shot. shot. Go. I'll have to tell him if he throws more balls like that, he doesn't have to throw so many balls. Yeah. Okay, Dimitri needs to step up here and make a good shot. Oh, looks pretty good. Looks real good. That a boy. That a boy, Dimitri. Yeah, Dimitri's got an uncle, Wayne Claypool, who's also a very good bowler. Really? Yeah. And Wayne's father, Wayne Claypool Sr., I watched him bowl when I was a kid growing up. So 
I know the whole Claypool and Coer families. <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> Big shot of the match right here. Oh, he pulled a little bit. Mm -hmm. Go Brooklyn. Oh, Lordy. Nice. He's got the little strut going now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. In bowling, it's a game of momentum. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Demetrius is like walking back really slow. And now he's got this little three-bag. He had that little hop yeah. in his step. And, you know, he's ready to go to go about his business now. Yeah. Jeremiah needs to make a good shot. Oh, it's got to hook a lot. Hook a lot. Okay. Again, that goes back to where if he had a little bit more aggressive ball, that right. ball would have turned in enough. You know, maybe got nine, maybe got a strike. But because of the way the ball is made, it's it's designed not to hook a lot. This is a very tough spare again. This is called the bucket. The bucket. The bucket. He needs it to hit the head pin pretty full, the pin in front there, and then have the ball take out all three, all four pins. Oh, he's going to get two of them. Maybe three. Oh, the hardest two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jeremiah needs to settle down here and make some good shots. Dimitri's kind of taking over the match. Taking a little extra time here, which is good. Make sure his thumb hole's clean. Step up and roll the ball. That's a good shot. That a boy. Anytime you see Jeremiah move to the corner, that's where he needs to be. He needs to be right next to that gutter because it's pretty dry out there, and his ball really reacts off that dry board. This is exciting, though. Here's 120 average bowlers, you know, fighting it out like yeah. they're 180 bowlers. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. Wow. I think uh, Dimitri's got his groove thing going now. <laughs> <laughs> he is excited. Dimitri's got a four bagger. Wow. Needs to stay calm, stay collected. Right. Think through each shot, follow through, and roll the ball. Focus. A little heavy. Oh. One pen. It's okay, that could have been a lot worse. He's taking a commanding lead now in this match. Needs to push the reset. Dimitri. Reset. Reset. There. That's about the extent of my lane maintenance right there. <laughs> that happens a lot with when kids use lighter balls. They don't trip the uh, tripping mechanism back there, and that's why they have the reset button. Okay. So if you ever go bowling, find out where the reset button is. <laughs> uh, he's going to move way left and throw it right. Wow. I don't think he got it right enough. Oh. Uh, he turned his hand over. See, that's the problem there with the weight of the ball again. Yeah. He wants to throw it right, but he lifted it up with his hand and pulled it over. <clears throat> but he, he's got a commanding lead right now. Jeremiah's going Brooklyn again. Nice shot. Carried it. There you go. Carried it. Very good shot. When, when you're a first year bowler like Jeremiah, you don't care if they hit the right side, the left side. As long yeah. as 10 pins go down, yeah. you're a happy young man. Right. Okay, he's caught back up in this game here. Stepping up here, working on a three bagger here. He's just sweat. Okay, Jeremiah made a good shot there. A little heavy on the head pin. You know, and this isn't a knock on Jeremiah by any means, but any time that he hits the head pin is a good shot to him. Mm -hmm. You know, being accurate, hitting what he's looking at is very, very important. Right. It's a big spare for him in the match. Oh, don't chop it. All right, very, very good shot. Okay, so we're coming down here to the end of the second game. Dimitri's bowling in the 8th frame. He's got 143 in the 7th. Oh, it's got a hurry. Okay. Okay. Dimitri got a little fast there. Mm -hmm. Threw it a little hard. Didn't get the, the lift in the hand rotation that he wanted. So now he'll throw this one a little slower. Let the ball hook across. Very nice shot. Very nice, nice. shot. Okay, this match is tightening up here. Dimitri lost the first game by 29 pins, so yeah. he's got to pick up 29 pins this game. 
and they're pretty close to even right now. Jeremiah still has a little bit of a lead. This is a big ninth frame for Dimitri. Needs to make a good quality shot because he's on a spare and a spare will add 10 plus the first ball. Right. So he needs to get every penny he can get and a strike would be perfect. Oh no. Okay, for a 10 year old that's still a very, very good shot. A lot of pressure there. Best thing here again is to get your one pin. This match is that close that every pin is very important to him. Very good shot. Okay, Jeremiah needs to throw a spare here. Jeremiah controls his, controls his own destiny now. Yeah. He can win or lose. It's just he's just got to stay clean. Oh, it's got to hook a lot. Okay, got a bit of a break there. This is another very very tough spare. Jeremiah hasn't done himself any favors this match. He's, he's left very tough spares out there. Yeah. This looks easy because they're two tip pins very close. But if you notice, when you look at it, there's a lot of space between those two pins. It's very easy to chop this. He's got a hook. Uh. Okay. Jeremiah has 149 in the ninth frame. And he has 209 this game. So with his 29 pins, he's down. Right. He actually has 238, so he has a 17 pin lead going into the 10th frame okay. in, the t in the match. Mm -hmm. So Jeremiah needs a mark to, to lock up the match. Oh, oh. <laughs> he got a huge break yeah, there. That huge lucky. break. Again, you see he's way over his average, so mm -hmm. these boys have bowled very, very well today. Pick this up to win the match. Got it covered. Now you just throw this ball down the middle of the lane. Dimitri has nothing, absolutely nothing to be feel bad about. He bowled fantastic the whole tournament mm -hmm. for a ten year old, you know, to make it to the finals like this. Yeah. Unbelievable. And he didn't bowl a bad game either. He's got one seventy in the ninth. Mm -hmm. Very good. It gives uh, Jeremiah a 166 with his handicap is 226 for a two-game total of 450. Wow. That's 225 a game. That's pretty darn good. Yeah. Got to go Brooklyn. Yeah. Ah. Mitchie's going to pick this up. Could possibly shoot a 190. Considering that his highest game in league is 191. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to slide. Good yep. shot. Nice. Very good. So even though Dimitri Kaur is not going to win, I mean, he stepped up and bowled a very, very solid match. Yeah. Bowled well, bowled well even though he was he's down going to the second game, hung in there. He's going to shoot a 190. It's just going to fall a little bit short. Come on, Dimitri. One final good ball here. Turn up there. All right, gives him a 187. That was a very, very nice match yeah. by two very, very nice young men. Uh, they did a great job. Yes, Jeremiah is going to move on now to bowl against Zach Lonsinger for the title. Wow. So we're going to have two very, very, I'm going to say green bowlers. Uh -huh. They're not very experienced at all, and it's going to be exciting to watch this next match. Yeah. So congratulations to Dimitri Kaur. Very nice match. You know, and he's only going to grow from this. He's only going to get better. And oh, yeah, with the experience. I'm sure right now he's a little upset, a little down, but he'll be back next year. And they'll oh, get yeah. to do it all again. So mm -hmm. we'll take another break here, get things set up, and come back for the championship. All right.